Hey everybody, Linator here, and welcome to... Where are we? Holy crap! Welcome to a WoW Tavern! <laughs> That's a change of scenery. Anyways, welcome to my healthy mukbang. I've prepared this wonderful pizza for me here, but even more importantly, my chroma key background has arrived, and now we can eat everywhere. In World of Warcraft, in Skyrim, in any fantasy realm you can think of. It's so amazing, so awesome. As usual, I can't wait to dive right into this food, but I'll begin with prayer and affirmations. Thank you, God, for this wonderful day you said before me, for this wonderful food you said before me, for this wonderful gift of life, for all your grace, for all your gifts. Thank you, God, so much. Now this will be to my benefit. My muscles grow strong in the mighty name of Jesus. My fats diminish in the mighty name of Jesus. I grow strong and prosper in Jesus Christ. I'm a victor in Christ Jesus. Thank you, God, so much. I give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Fight. This is a keto pizza, fathead dough, the most popular dough they go for when they want to make a keto pizza. It's huge amount of calories, like this pizza is like twice the calories of a typical pizza I eat. So let's see if it's any good. It looks quite good, it's quite thick, so we'll see. know what? It is quite good. Hmm. Ah. Well, the promise. Let's add some spicy sauce, as usual. The promise was that this will be just like bread. And it is quite good. Like, I'll show you here. It does have a bread kind of texture. It's kind of like bread. Still, I wanted something really close to your Pizza Hut pan crust. But it's not it. And once again, those internet recipes, hyping it up. Truth is, yes, it's good, but no, it's not bread and it doesn't replace your craving for this thick crust pizza on the bread. That's not it. It's a very, very calorie dense dough. So like the dough itself is about a thousand calories. On top of it, the cheese is about 300. I'm sorry. And then fillings, toppings are about 200, 100. So most of the calories on the dough, and then the rest is quite small. So I'm mostly eating the dough. And yes, you can see, it's quite good. I guess I'm just too picky at this point because I have tasted so many wonderful things on keto. I'm like, some people it might be unthinkable that on keto they can have such a crust. They're like, yeah, it's the best thing in the world. I've had so many keto delicacies made recently. I'm like, yeah, it's good, but okay. It's really good. If you don't know better, this is so awesome. Keto pizza. It works. It is a pizza 
on keto. So you can see it has this nice cheese which melted properly. It's properly like you can bend it like this. It's properly chewy. It doesn't fall apart like cauliflower dough. God knows why you would want to make that. Yep. Must make sure it works. Yep. This is amazing, like the atmosphere here. It's it's just the best to be in your favorite place eating food. That's actually what I want to talk about today. The atmosphere when eating food. I realized when I got this, it's so important. You really need have proper atmosphere, background to make food enjoyable and to make your digestion work, everything work to your health and benefit. It's such a difference. It makes a huge difference. When you just chew something on the go or when you Relax like this in a familiar environment, good music playing in the background. You just relax and enjoy. It's very important. Of course, you don't need to have a blue screen for that. What you do need is to set aside all the nuisances and problems. Like, shove them off. Shut them down. Get them out of the picture. Too many people, they eat while thinking about something else. Their food is here, the head is somewhere else. About problems. Mm, one second. About issues, about problems, about the relationship, their work, whatever. That's no good. You must think about something good and about food when you eat. Be in the moment, right here, right now, where the food is. Then you can enjoy it properly. Like really enjoy it that's so good that's going to be good both for your enjoyment for your health as well it's going to be good for your digestion digestive system to work properly process all this food you're taking So remove any problems, issues, move them out, focus on the food, create the proper mood, like with music. Mm. No, it's definitely very good. It's very chewy, so there's like a lot to chew here in this pizza, but because it's so dense in calories, naturally there's more to chew than in my egg white and almond flour crust. Taste this. Definitely good. It's just when you read this recipe online, you kind of expect more 
because they hype it so much. And then it's like, yeah, it's just a good pizza. You still won't mistake this for a pizza hut pizza, like pan crust, the thick, tasty, yeast smelling bread. No way. Yes, it's quite good, but not by any means that. And you won't like mistake it and think it's bread. No. It has its own taste and its own flavor, attractiveness to it, but it's not. It just has different properties. It's different. It's good for what it is, but not for what was advertised to be. It was hyped to be a crust which is like bread. It's not. It's a crust, yes, a good crust. Anyways, notice, it's music. It might mean something to me and to you, if you enjoy, wow. But otherwise, just as is, this music is relaxing, a bit romantic, a bit sad, but it makes you slow down and kind of brings you into this meditative state. That's what you need when you eat to come into this state where you focus on the present moment, ease into it. You might notice Expensive restaurants often have this relaxing jazz music, calm, chill music because they want you to enjoy their stay there. You want you to enjoy the stay, you want you to stay more, order more. Like your drink is over, but you don't want to go get one more. You stay too long, you're hungry again, get dessert. It's quite chewy. There's a lot to chew in this pizza. That's true. So you feel there's a substance there, a substantial dough. compare that, the music, to fast food, you'll notice they have these faster modern tunes which make you make haste, eat quickly and screw off, so another can take your place. They want you to quickly consume your food and get out, so they can have a smaller space and serve more customers in it. Yeah, it's quite thick, quite good, you can see. So, in their interest, it's for you to do it quickly and move. And so they have this music, this atmosphere. It's not good for you, it's good for them. For you it's not. That's not how you want to enjoy food. No. You want to relax and just 
ease off into the atmosphere and slowly enjoy to eat. I look at it, savor it, smell it. This pizza smells delicious. <laughs> and slowly have a bite, feel how it tastes in your mouth. Then chew it thoroughly. And when you swallow, don't hurry for another bite. Enjoy this sensation before you look, smell again, have another bite. And that's it. And I never really noticed this until I had this thing installed behind my back. But for quite some time, I was already doing it, putting the proper music when I eat with my wife or alone, proper atmosphere. Something familiar, pleasant, but calm. I love different styles of music. I noticed that if I put something energetic or like negative hard it doesn't fit well with eating might enjoy Nick Gordon's soundtrack for Doom but not while I eat Same goes for some computer game music, like RPG music, epic music again. Epic, cool, but not to eat on not to eat while listening to it. That's not cool. And really, it affects too much. For you to miss it. Really, try it. Cut. Okay, that's edible. <laughs> if you don't already, try to put on pleasant music. If you dine somewhere in public space, headphones, and have a pleasant, relaxing music, proper ritual to start eating and then relax into this atmosphere and enjoy the experience. Or like this, imagine yourself in your favorite place, put the music which associates you with it. Like maybe it's the Great Hall from Harry Potter and some chill music from the movie. Maybe it's a medieval tavern and some ambient sounds of a fireplace. And just feel yourself there and enjoy your food in the comfort of your favorite place.
light candles or maybe an aroma stick and just ease into this atmosphere and bask in it. Okay, more spicy sauce is required. By the way, how transparent is this? I'll see you later on the recording. After it cools down a bit, it becomes kind of solid, too much for my liking. Like you see it kind of deflated a bit. And really, it's so many calories, man. Definitely going over my daily allowance today. Having two of these pizzas, 2,700 calories already. But it's tasty, yes. It's just that, let me think, one piece is about 170, 180 calories. Holy crap. That's a lot. One such small piece of the pizza. I guess maybe I'm used to eating these low calorie foods. Maybe it's normal for such an amount of calories. But I feel like it's too much. Maybe for a typical pizza? No, still. Pizza of such size wouldn't have that many calories, I think. Would be a bigger pizza. This is quite small. It's like I enjoy food so much. I think in terms of how much pleasure I can get for the amount of calories I consume. And it's like I would rather have two pizzas on my egg white and almond dough crust than one such pizza. Yeah, that pizza is a bit less chewy, but it still is chewy. And you get two of price of one. Twice, in quotes, for the calories of one. And it's thick and chewy, like this. Quite a lot of dough there. But still, it doesn't like puff like your pizza dough in Pizza Hut, for example. This is a 
the past, but I'm going to look for different recipes now to make the ultimate pizza crust. This one. Very good, but just I favor different ones. Seems. I mean, it's much better than cauliflower pizza, that's for sure. Hmm. It's still pizza, so it's still delicious. And really, food is such an important part of our life, both in terms of pleasure you can get and health. It affects our health so much. You better focus on it and make it important to have proper food in day. And how you do it is also important. And how much pleasure you get from it is also important. Because you feel more life, more diverse, like more pleasure, more diverse emotions and feelings if you properly enjoy all the life has to offer, including food. Like some people say, I eat just to get proper nutrients. Of course, that's the most important part. Like, we eat not to have pleasure, but to get proper nutrients into our body to survive. But why not have both? Enjoy both nutrients and pleasure. So be sure to try it, if you haven't already, put some music, remove all distractions, get all problems, shoved off at least for the time you eat, and create an atmosphere for eating that you will really enjoy. And just enjoy food. Let's see how it changes everything. Spicy sauce is good with everything. Just enjoying the hell out of this pizza. Even as I said that I don't like this dough very much compared to others, the pizza is still awesome. Really?
That means it has so many killers and it's gone so quickly. Almost through. It's like only half an hour has passed. And I consumed like 100, 1300 calories. Holy crap. Yeah, it's good. Again, for most people, this would be awesome. Especially if they only had some crappy cauliflower pizza yet, or no pizza on keto. And they get served this. Holy crap, pizza on keto. So good. Chewy, delicious, very tasty. Yeah, it's good. When you have options, you envision different possibilities and you start to understand how much more could this be. Still a worthy recipe in keto arsenal of recipes. Definitely. And I mean, it's bread all right. You can see. The texture is there. The chewiness is there. Hmm. Yeah, well done pizza. It's a well done pizza. Thank you all very much for being with me today. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will be the first one to know when I release another Keto Mukbang video. And then click this playlist right here. There are more Keto Mukbangs you will definitely enjoy. I love you all. See you all again real, real soon.